Hi folks, welcome to a remote location. I got to tell you, this is my kind of place too. I can literally spend the next two weeks here just exploring. Look at all this stuff. Doodle bug up there. Redneck housing project. Look at all this great stuff. Amazing. So, 1964 F-150. F-100. F-100. Came with a six-cylinder. Yes. 232. Yep, 223 engine. 223. And now it has a 302. Yep. With a Ed Brock there. Ed Brock, yeah. Ed Brock. And... Got it all set up. Automatic. Automatic. C4 automatic. The engine came in pieces. We uh, put that together and refreshed, freshened it all up with all new parts. And the transmission, we got two transmissions and we made, me and my friend made one out of the two. So and, you rebuilt uh, that automatic yourself? Yes. Uh, sort of. We had to swap some parts around. But we'll, we'll see. And uh, this never came with a 302, so we had to put different motor mounts in it but that was yeah. uh yeah that looks that's a pretty pretty nice little setup there no you were able to buy those and i was able to buy those yeah smash them right in there yeah nice now well, hopefully it'll work out good i've converted it to double master cylinder and uh be able to stop be able to stop yeah now you went with front disc brakes on this we're thing? going to yes Okay. Now, the oh, nose, you said, is from New Mexico. Nose is from Arizona. Arizona. So we got an Arizona nose. And the rest of the truck, you said, lived down in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Levittown, Pennsylvania. And unfortunately, it's uh, gotten a little soft here and there. Yep. But there's a solution to that, and we'll soft show you that. Soft is pretty polite term, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got a uh, we got a little Flintstones action going through there. God, love that shifter, Charlie. Isn't that beautiful? Oh man, I love that. That's for the automatic. You go shift kit on the automatic? Yes. God, one does like this. So we're gonna scoot down the road, nice. I'm not looking for that, but now. It didn't have any uh, names of any companies or anything no. on the side of it. No. What color do you think it was originally? Red? I think it was red. Red right from the beginning. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All kinds of official tags here. That's your warranty number. That's probably your VIN number, too. It might be out of warranty by now. I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> 64. Yeah, the doors are in all yeah, good shape. In good shape. Now you've st this thing you've started it since you've put the motor in or no? No, I haven't started it yet. It's almost ready to start. Then I got sidetracked. And it's only got 91 original on it. So it says. You uh, you're keeping the manual steering? Um, for now, yeah. Unfortunately, the cap takes some water probably from these lights. Probably. Right? But it's just rotten all the way around it. So, the truck was basically your first thousand dollar bill yes and then the fenders you managed to gift on those i hope yes look at that so the fenders it's from benevolent friend yes gotta love that and then we got a new cab to go on this rig yeah been working on that had more rust on it than i originally thought but yeah got that there but it looks like the corners yeah, I've been all fresh and dusty down. down there. Yeah, I'm still working on that part of it. And Less that, holes in the floor. Holes <laughs> you could, in the floor. Uh, you, we had to rebuild the, the cab mount on the passenger side here. That's all new. I have, I fabricated yep, that. There you go. That's what Charlie's running right there. Yes. For the uh, little MIG action. Yeah, it looks great. This is going to be a nice, a nice is. rig it for It will be. For it's just enough there to work with, with the rest of the park. It's a fun project. I have been having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, but you, uh, you don't have, you really don't have big money tied up. Not you really got a thousand not. outside, another four hundred yeah. here. I mean, you had to run and pick it up, but yeah. that's not big money. No, not at all. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. 
And a lot of times around the windshields is yeah. where you really no, see none of that take on water. And it's good this thing didn't have the lights on the top to no. to take in all the water no. to rot you all out. We can, there's a few holes in the roof we got to patch up, and that's fine. Oh, we, yeah, we actually do with some kind of light up there. Yep. Maybe um, a you got you got light. some over here. They must have had a spotlight on it or something. Yeah, there might have been a spotlight over there, and then some. That won't be taken care of. I think this was a fire truck. It's not the right color though. I it looks know. like it was that off. That um, green, that limey green color. I don't know how well the color's showing up. Because it's not primer. Yeah, it looks got quite the project here. Yeah, it'll be good. We also got a got another toy. How's, yes. Look at this guy. This is a 28 Model A um, business coupe. The business coupe was made. The roof is wooden. Wow. So a lot of guys, once the roof uh, rotted out on them, they made roasters out of them. But this one's been inside a lot of its life. Now you were saying uh, your buddy owned it since he was 16? He, he found it. He was horse, horseback riding one day when he was 16 years old. He's 72 now. And uh, he found it and contacted the owner. The owner said, well, yeah. He offered him $50 for it and he took it. <laughs> and he said, I'll tell you where the key and the battery are. And he was driving it. He ran it on the OEM. Yeah, but he, you couldn't drive it far, so now it'll be we'll be able to drive it now with that modern drive train in it. So this is another 302. Yeah, that's a 71 302. Say um, the one in the uh, red trucks is a 69. That's a 71. And what do you go with C? Pretty slaughter. Yeah. What what kind of tranny is that thing? This one's a C5. Automatic, mine's a C4, it's just a little bit different. So if I remember the story right, the the uh, engine was out of an old Econoline van? It was van. out of an old Econoline van that he used on his, in his business in the early 70s when he first started his appliance business. What's cool about this is he still got all the stuff he had from the 1970s still got the van. floating around. Still got the van. Is that is that the one up on the hill? Oh man, before I shut down, I'll, I'll just uh, flash the camera up there. Yeah, there's a blue van. I saw it up on the hill. Looks like it still had red license or yellow license plates. Yes. Were those the yellow license plates from back yesteryear or uh, it, it's been on the road recently? That was the last registered uh, uh, license plate. So, yeah, that's. You guys are doing some nice work up here. Yeah, it's fun. This I, like, I like this shop. It reminds me of the old days. This uh, garage has piping through the floor. It's piping in the floor. This garage, this building was actually moved here from another location. And Glenn poured a slam and built the building. And he got the lift from someplace else. And so we have, we almost got a full service facility here because we can do a lot of stuff here. And we have done a lot of stuff. Yeah. The and once again the floor is heated. Yep. Which means as you as you walk around when the floor is 70, yep. 75, 80, yep. even if the air is cold, yep. you are not freezing to death. Right. Boy, I just personally though for me, I can literally spend the rest of my life just kind of roaming around. <laughs> There's just so many interesting things, so many different piles of uh, stuff that I'd love to put my hands through. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, keep your feet down, keep your head up, and enjoy all your days. Bye now.